Hi and welcome. Today we're going to be using Keynote and iMovie to make a vodcast. So the first thing we do, obviously, is open up Keynote and we are going to create a few sides. We're going to create a side with a question here. Question one, let's say, has an open ending so that we don't have to put another um, answer sign on it. Question two has multiple answers. It looks like we need to create a question slide for question number three, though. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to ask ourselves, what is the hardest part of vodcasting? So now that we've created this slide, we can put it in its proper place. Make sure that we've got all our slides in the correct order. Normally when we use Keynote, we go to Save As, but this time we want to choose File and then Export. And we want to export these slides as images. So we want to export all the slides for right now. We want to export them as JPEGs, so that setting is already correct. And we can turn this up to 100 or close to 100%. If you've been having trouble with your computer running slowly or stalling, then maybe you might want to dial the quality setting down to closer to 50 so we can choose the folder that we want to save these in. This is the folder that I've been using for all of my vodcasting resources. And there we've just saved all of these slides as images and we can move on to iMovie. So here we are in iMovie and you can see that for each slide that we've created we've got a corresponding audio clip. So here's our first slide and our first piece of audio. It's our second slide and our second piece of audio, etc. So what we can do now is click on the box and we can grab the little handle at the end and slide it so that it's the same length as the audio clip. And if we right click or control click inside of the box, we can choose trim to selection. And that cuts off the end part that we excluded so that now our slide lasts the same length of time as our audio does. Another way to do that is by clicking on the gear and selecting clip adjustment. And you can specify a specific time that you want your clip to last. This one, we chose 15 seconds. So now our audio and our slide are both 15 seconds. It's really easy to change the amount of time that slides are on the screen in iMovie so that we can allow kids time to respond. Um, we can put up blank slides so that they can think and process and then we can bring up another slide while they're um, while we're still talking them through a concept or an idea. So right now we're going to bring in another slide. This is the slide that we created last in Keynote. And by default, the slide is going to be on the screen for four seconds. So we can select clip adjustment and make it last for 20 seconds. Uh, change my mind. Maybe we can make it last for eight seconds. All right, so that's enough time for us to pose the question. And now we can pose our question by clicking on the voiceover button. And we can speak and say, what's the hardest part of vodcasting? And we've just created our audio. So when you select the clip, the voiceover, which I'm using right now, automatically stops at the end of the yellow box. So we can make the clip a little bit longer if we want to have a little time at the end for kids to think about the answer to the question we just posed before we bring in another slide. So now we brought in the answer slide. We can see we've got the question slide with the audio and now the answer slide. When we brought the answer slide in, it added some effects that we might not want to use. So we can go to adjust video um, and choose fit the slide to the screen versus crop or Ken Burns effect and some of the other things that you can choose. So now we want to make the slide a little bit longer so that the kids have a little more time after the audio to think about the answers to the questions. So the preferred method to do this is for each time you import a slide, you're going to want to record audio, make sure that that audio is the proper time or length of time. Make sure your slides have the proper length of time and just keep chugging from there. So good luck in your vodcasting adventures.